Isa Buretini is a very significant but complex figure in Albanian history. He's known for his contributions to the fight for Albanian independence during Ririndia Komtore, Albanian National Awakening. He was born in Kosovo in Buretin in 1864 and was a member of a very prominent family of Albanian patriots where he was involved in the resistance against Ottoman and all foreign rule from a very young age and until he died in 1916 actually. And Boletini was also very instrumental in the formation of uh, Lilia Prizrenit, League of Prizren, which was a political group established in 1878 that advocated for Albanian self-rule and the preservation of Albanian heritage, including its culture and language. He remained a very active participant in this movement throughout his life. He also led many armed resistances, like the 1910 revolt against Ottoman control in Kosovo, and although he was Muslim and respected his faith, he never went against his people and was very vocal about this to the Sultan as well. His loyalty and military skills cemented his position as a prominent figure in the movement and he went on to play a crucial role in the uprising of 1912, which resulted in the independent Albanian state. And in March 1913, Buretini even accompanied Ismail Cimoli to London to seek British support. And a historian reports this following anecdote about Buretini, where upon entering the British Foreign Office building to plead his nation's cause, the security police asked him to um, remove the, the pistol from his belt, because he never went without his guns, and check it. And he did so with no objection, which was surprising to people. But following the interview, the Foreign Secretary, Sir Edward Gray, um, then accompanied Bolitini to the vestibule and put the pistol back in his belt and then he said with a smile General, the newspapers might record tomorrow that Isa Bolitini, whom even Mahmoud Shevchet Pasha could not disarm, was just disarmed in London. Bolitini replied with a broad smile and said no, no, not in London either and then he withdrew a second pistol from his pocket. <laughs> we love these anecdotes about him, there's another one I'll come to next. Bolitini's uh, life and legacy continue to be relevant to contemporary issues facing Albanians today and his legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of national identity, autonomy, the right to self-determination and the feeling of belonging as well and I think the next story a lot of you can uh, sympathize with. Uh, Aubrey Her Herbert, who met Bolitini and became a close friend of his, wrote about how Bolitini produced a great effect in the House of Commons in England when he showed up wearing his national costume. Herbert wrote that none could look at him without admiration. He made many friends who showed him the glories of London. And yet, Bolitini said to uh, Herbert, grand as it all is and kind as you English are, I would not change this for my own rocks and rivers. This is a very clear description of who he was as a person and how much he loved his country. So rest in peace, Isa Boletini.